Hey guys, it's Steve at Muse Themes. So I've gone ahead and I've purchased the domain name museexperts.com. I bought the domain through GoDaddy and I've decided to host my site on Business Catalyst. I covered launching that site live on BC in an earlier video. So what I need to do now is I need to point the domain for museexperts.com to my hosting site, which is Business Catalyst. I need to give my home for my website an address. So this is definitely one of the parts that users are often confused because sometimes their clients will have already purchased a domain or will own a domain for years and you've built them a new website and you need to get everything linked up. So one thing that's important to remember here is your hosting and your domain don't need to be registered to the same company. So a client will tell you or provide you with login information um, for a hosting account, but that's not where the domain was actually purchased. So let's go ahead and add this domain to Business Catalyst. So as I showed her in an earlier video here, we'll go File and Manage Business Catalyst Site. And what this is going to do is bring up our browser and it's going to bring us to the dashboard for Business Catalyst and it says that our site is live, but we haven't added any domains to the site. So let's go ahead and click Add a Domain. When we do that, it says add an existing domain. Okay, so enter the name of the domain is. I've purchased the domain museexperts.com and we'll click save. So once we do that, Business Catalyst associates that domain with this site. But the problem is it says the domain has been successfully added. Please make sure you go to your registrar and add the following name servers. So this looks really confusing, right? You've got all these IP addresses and this sort of thing. So this is what where the linking component comes in. This is really where your domain needs to point is to these things called these name servers. So now let's go ahead and log into our domain registrar. And in this case, for me, it was GoDaddy. So we'll go to GoDaddy and we'll click sign in. And I'll log in here. Okay, and once we've logged into our account, we can see all of these various products that we have available. Um, if you have email or various you know, websites, that sort of thing. So I wanna edit a domain. So let's click launch on the domains. Once we do that, GoDaddy brings up a list of all the domains and we just need to scroll down to the one that we've just purchased. I've obviously blanked out the domains on my account because I have something like 40 domains in here. But once you find museexperts.com or the domain you've just purchased, just click on it. And when you click on it, it brings you to this page that kind of tells you about it and when it expires and that sort of thing. But there's all these settings below. And in the settings, there's a setting called name servers. Remember, this is what Business Catalyst told us we need to update to point that domain. So under name servers, let's click manage. And it brings up this box to edit them. So we don't want to use the standard name servers. That would be if you were hosting the site on GoDaddy. We want to use custom name servers. So we're currently using the default ones. Let's enter custom ones. So let's add a name server. And we have two boxes here. So let's go back to Business Catalyst and let's just copy in the name server. You can use just this ns1.worldsecuresystems.com. You don't need the full IP address. So let's go ahead and drop that in like that. And we'll add the second one. It's just ns2 like that. And now we need a third one. So let's just click add and then we get a box for a third one and do that and copy and paste that in. Okay. And click OK. So now we've actually pointed this domain, museexperts.com, to Business Catalyst, and let's click Save. So it says the request has been submitted. Changes may take a few moments to take effect. Well, if we go to museexperts.com right now, you can see that it's just a generic GoDaddy landing page. There's no website. It's not our Business Catalyst site. Domain switches or changes like this can take up to 24 hours to actually apply and kind of flow through the web. I usually, they usually call it propagate through the web. So be patient. And if it hasn't happened, GoDaddy's pretty quick and Business Catalyst is pretty quick. But if it hasn't happened in a day or so, you might want to look at your settings and see if you maybe entered something wrong. But do be patient and just check back often and give the page a refresh to see. But if you put those name servers in correctly, your domain will point to the actual site or to the actual host, which is at this link. And you'll see the site up on that link. 
So that's how you go ahead and link up a domain to a different hosting provider. It's always by changing these things called name servers. So just remember that if the name servers are not pointing to the right location, then your address is not pointing to your home. So you're not gonna get your mail. So that's how it works. And it's going to be the same for almost any provider out there. So now that we've gone ahead and linked up our domain and our hosting and we're all set, let's talk about the various ways for you to actually publish your files up to that hosting server. This would be like how you move your furniture into the home. You can do it directly from use or you can do it using third-party software such as FileZilla. So we'll talk about that in our next video. Thanks.